Act 4, 15 minus 20 minutes. Their first glimpse of the island fills Steve with exhilaration, but soon, dark forces emerge to challenge their dreams. As they set foot on the island, they are attacked by a group of monstrous creatures that seem to be guarding the hidden treasure. Steve and Adam are separated in the chaos, and Steve's bravado quickly fades as he realizes the grave peril they are in. Alone and terrified, he desperately searches for his friend. The creatures, with their razor-sharp claws and glowing eyes, move silently through the dense foliage, and Steve can hear their guttural growls echoing in the darkness. Fear courses through his veins, and every step he takes feels like a potential death trap. He pushes forward, his heart pounding, calling out for Adam in the hope that they haven't been taken too far apart. Suddenly, Steve catches a glimpse of movement in the corner of his eye. He swivels around, clutching his weapon tightly, and finds himself face to face with one of the grotesque beasts. Its foul breath fills the air, and its snarling jaws hunger for his flesh. Steve's survival instincts kick in, and with a surge of adrenaline, he raises his weapon and strikes the creature with all his might. The fight is intense and ferocious. Steve's body moves on instinct, ducking and weaving, each strike precise and calculated. With every creature he defeats, more seem to rush in to take its place. Their numbers are overwhelming, and Steve finds himself surrounded. Panic threatens to consume him, but he knows he must keep fighting, for his life and for Adam's. Just when it seems all hope is lost, a voice echoes through the chaos, startling both Steve and his attackers. Over here. The voice belongs to Adam, who miraculously fought his way through the creatures to find Steve. Bloodied and bruised, Adam stands by his side, ready to face whatever comes their way. Together, the friends wage a valiant battle against the monstrous guardians of the island. Their movements are synchronized, their trust unwavering. Each swing of their weapons is fueled by determination and a fierce loyalty that transcends any fear they may feel. The fight stretches on, seemingly endless, but their resolve never wavers. Finally, after what feels like an eternity, the last creature falls to their combined strength. The island falls silent, and the once hostile environment becomes eerily calm. Steve and Adam take a moment to catch their breath, their bodies aching and covered in blood. They lock eyes, their mutual relief evident, and share a knowing smile. They have overcome the greatest challenge of their lives, and they know they couldn't have done it without each other. With the immediate danger defeated, Steve and Adam collect their belongings and regroup. They know their escape is not yet assured, but in that moment, they revel in their victory. They stand shoulder to shoulder, their bond strengthened by the shared ordeal. As they prepare to face whatever lies ahead, they know that their friendship, forged through the crucible of adventure, will carry them through to the end. Together, battered but unbroken, they begin their journey towards rescue. As they make their way through the tangled forest and treacherous cliffs, they know that their voyage has forever changed them. They have seen the horrors that can lurk beyond the edge of the known world, but they have also discovered the resilience and courage within themselves. And as they sail back to civilization, they realize that true adventure lies not in the pursuit of fame, but in the profound moments of survival and friendship they experienced on that faraway island.